There are several Chromebook, keyboard, trackpad, and touchscreen shortcuts that can maximize your efficiency. And let's start with some keyboard shortcuts. Control T, for example, opens a new tab for you. And if you accidentally close a tab that you didn't mean to, using Control plus Shift plus T will conveniently reopen that tab right where you left off. I'm sure that most of you know this one, but Control C copies. And Control V is the shortcut for paste. If you are wondering why Control P is not the shortcut for paste, it's because Control P is a shortcut for printing. To take a screenshot of your entire screen, press the Control button and then the View All Windows button. If you want to take a screenshot of only a selected area on your screen, add Shift to that mix by pressing Control, Shift, and then the View All Windows button. Your cursor will turn into crosshairs and you will be able to draw a rectangle around the area of the screen that you want to capture. These screenshots automatically save to your downloads folder, and you can find that by using the launcher and then choosing files. To turn caps lock on or off, press Alt and then the search button while you're holding Alt. This is one of those less intuitive combinations, but the search button is located where the caps lock button typically is on a regular keyboard, so that might help you remember. Pressing the search button by itself brings up a search bar so you can locate files on your device. And if you just hit enter, it performs your standard Google search. One of everyone's favorite shortcuts is Control Z, which is a shortcut to undo whatever you last did. Right clicking on a touchscreen Chromebook can be done in three ways. The first way is to hold down the Alt button on your keyboard and then click a link with your trackpad. Alternately, you can simply use a two finger click on your trackpad, making sure you have a space between your fingers and tap them at the same time. With a touch screen, a touch and hold triggers the right click. And I will use that right click method to pin my files shortcut to my taskbar or apps shelf for easier access. There are also several ways to scroll up and down a page. To scroll down a web page, you can hit the spacebar. You can swipe up or down with two fingers on your trackpad, or you can single finger swipe up or down on the touchscreen. To navigate quickly through web results, you can use the forward and back arrows on the top row of your keyboard, or you can swipe left with two fingers on the trackpad to go back, or swipe right with two fingers to go forward. And if you prefer to use the touch screen, a single finger swipe from left to right takes you back, and swiping right to left takes you forward. You can use Control plus and Control minus on the keyboard to zoom in and out. But pinching in and zooming out on your touch screen gives you some more control. There are many more shortcuts and gestures that can help you work efficiently on your Chromebook, but those are some of the most common. And if you can remember Control plus Alt plus forward slash, you can bring up a searchable window of all the shortcuts, which is how I can quickly refresh my memory that the search button plus L locks my screen if I need to step away from my Chromebook.